Hey everyone, it's been a while and these are starting to be very exclusive, but I have a very special guest for Roll Call episode 41 and I'm here with my friend RJ Johnson in Austin. Hello. Hello. Thanks for <laughs> joining me. Thanks for having me on your show. So RJ, oh my goodness, I don't know where to begin because you are so well known in so many circles. Um, I just... I'm so grateful that I've been able to connect with you through music. And thanks, Doug, for making this connection with us. Thank you, Doug. But you are such a veteran. Like, tell us a little bit about your history and how you got started with music. Well, started with music, I definitely have to say it comes out of both of my parents. Um, oh, my okay. mother played in UT band. She was a bass clarinet and still plays in an orchestra. Oh. Um, so um, her influence is there. My father was into music from the 50s, the 60s, and so I grew up on all that. I had a huge record collection growing up, and I used to go to the library and check out records and come home and record <laughs> them and make tapes. And then when I was in high school, um, my mother was remarried. I relocated to Texas, and the man she married, um, started going to pawn shops and buying saws and tools and I would go with him and I started buying turntables and mixers and <laughs> and started DJing in high school basically and and then uh, my senior year of high school I was at LBJ in the industrial media program and some of the people that were in my program were involved at KZI radio which I was already a huge fan of was making tapes all the time and I just told them I want to be involved. And I started on the air in high school, you know, as a shaky little kid holding the microphone. Wow. Going on air, being terrified, and doing overnights, three to six in the morning, playing all vinyl. This is before CDs. And um, we had to keep the station on the air 24 hours a day. Wow. So it had its challenges. And um, I'm still doing radio there. I do reggae every second and fourth Tuesday. And I love the music. It just took over my heart. I went to Jamaica the first time in 89, went to Sunsplash. And when I came back, I decided I would switch formats from R&B and funk and hip hop to reggae music, Jamaican music. And I've been focused on that ever since then. And, wow. uh, you know, then I bought some drums and drum machines and <laughs> started making beats and then started playing beats and started doing production. Um, started working in the studio, officially around 88 or 89, working on two inch tape. Um, big shout out to Route One and Jerry and the whole gang for giving me an opportunity. I did a couple albums with them, um, co-producing, co-engineering. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And wow. Now it's what I do full time. Yeah, here we are in your studio. Yeah. And it's an incredible studio. And having worked with you, I can definitely say he is he knows his stuff. He's the real deal. How much music do you have out there like how I, you work with so many different kinds of genres and artists? I mean, with the label, um we have over over 100 songs that we've released already. Wow. Um uh, including dub versions, alternates, Incredible. But I think it's just the beginning because the vision in my head is much bigger. Oh, yeah. I really want this thing to take off, to be internationally recognized for just producing quality music. Yes. For me, since I started DJing, the most important thing has just been to give my listeners quality music, to surprise them with something. Um, Absolutely. So and I think you've, you're you accomplishing that. I think so. Absolutely. So. What is the feedback you've gotten on Heaven Inside? Well, I've gotten feedback that people, that the song is giving giving them something to inspire them and to motivate them and keep them focused on whatever the positive thing is in their life. Absolutely. And for those of you that don't know, RJ wrote the songs. People will tell me, Karina, the lyrics are so amazing. Like, I love it. You know, I'm like... I'd say we wrote it together. Well. Because you came up with all those melodies. <laughs> I take good direction, though. And in all honesty, you did write those lyrics. And they are so soothing. 
Like they are, I mean, people from just the way that it was, just the, the, the way that, you know, you wrote it, it really came together beautifully Thank and you. fluidly. Thank you. For and help. Thank you for helping me manifest it. Yes, yes, because RJ came to me with this idea and he says, I've had this idea for a while and I don't know, you know, I'm still working on it, but I have you in mind for it. And I just thought, oh, cool. Like, thank you for, for having me in mind for it. Because prior to that, we had worked on two songs, one with Ana Barajas, shout out to Ana, mm -hmm. and another one, right? Mm -mm. No, it is just two songs. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought it was, yeah, this is our the second The third one song. We're, still, we're still putting together. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> I'm getting ahead In of myself. Minds. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I've been working with you forever. But RJ, like, what would you say inspires you to keep going day after day? Because you are constantly working. You're in your studio, you're tracking, you're creating. Like, what motivates you? What motivates me is the love that's in everybody that I meet. You know, I see the beauty in what they have, their gifts, and I want to help people create the best records they can. You yes. Know, things that'll be here when they're gone, when we're gone. Yes, and you, and you are very good at bringing those gifts out of people. Thank you. You're very good at, um, you know, you're a visionary. You see the potential in the project and what, what could come out of it, and you're mm -hmm. great at just like pulling it out. So, and, and the band is great. I mean, you guys are performing. Mm -hmm. Perfect Friends. Mm -hmm. You're performing regularly, weekly? Mm -hmm. Every week, yeah. Yeah. yeah shout out to Mo. Shout out to all the guys. Yeah, I perform every Wednesday on 6th Street at Austin's Home for Reggae, which is Flamingo Cantina. Yes. Which has been going since 91. Wow. And um, shout out to Angela and yes. everybody that keeps the flame of that place alive. Absolutely. Shout out to Angela. Shout out to, I mean, yeah, Flamingo Cantina is just the best. It's and shout out to everybody that helped on the track. Um, Fumi, yes. Fumi made this amazing art, and Fumi just kills it every time. Um, Absolutely. Fumanstudios.com. Shout out to Mo. He put the bass line down. Yes. Um, Mark played guitar, and uh, Jeremy put keyboards on. Stephen Stanley mixed it. Um, Stephen Stanley. So everybody had a little part in yeah putting the whole thing together and shout out to gav pause as well so yes for gav, gav pause radio yes gav pause radio for just you know taking us in giving us a little home over there across the pond as they say and just thanks to everyone who's been supporting it we do still have the seven inch 45s i have friends that are buying it and don't even own a record player but they're like i'm committed i'm buying a record player because i want to hear this and i can stream it right now but i want a physical copy so we do still have physical copies mm -hmm. i'm taking some back to houston you can also order online i will add the link at the end of this video mm -hmm. do you have any shout outs where can we find you well you can find me on social media um at dj rj that's my Instagram, and I guess we say X now, not Twitter. <laughs> I still say Twitter. Uh, the, lab <laughs> the label Instagram is Music for Life Rhythms, and um, you can follow me there. Also, the radio show is at Reggae Evolution. Um, just trying to keep everything growing, and I want to just take all this love in my heart, put it back in the music, and put it into people, because I think it's what we need right now. There's a lot of division. There's a lot of animosity. Uh, the a election is coming. And I just want to remind us all that we're all just one people. Absolutely. And the love is there in your heart. Positive movements. Yeah. Positive movements. And you're doing that. You're living it every day. You're an example of it. And I'm just grateful to be able to connect with you and be in your circle and to soak up a little bit of that. Thank you so much, RJ. Karina, thanks for everything you put out every day because <laughs> you're always putting out affirmations and acknowledgments several times a day and always putting pots with words and reminding us of who we really are. Yes. Which is the love inside of us. Exactly. Yes, we all have 
that love and that greatness were all so dynamic and so beautiful. You know, it, it, I've had friends like, I'm not good looking at all or I'm not beautiful. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like your beauty is oozing from the inside out, you mm -hmm. know? So we just have to embrace that beauty, whatever it is, flaws and all, just love yourself for all all of it. And you you are a walking example of that. Thank You're you. you are you are love in every step. And I just appreciate that about you. So thank you, RJ. Follow him, please. Thank you, Karina. Thank you guys so much for being here with us and tuning in. And I'll try to be more regular with my interviews. <laughs> but today was definitely an exclusive. DJ RJ, follow him. Amazing producer, drummer, just everything. Thank you. Everything. Mwah. Much love. Peace. Thank y'all.